Set up approval policies for your team's expenses. In your policy tab, go to the approval section and select expenses. Here you'll see your default expense approval policy. You can view it by selecting the down arrow, then edit it by selecting the pencil icon. The default expense approval policy is if the expense is a card transaction and an amount greater than zero, it's automatically approved. If the expense is a reimbursement with an amount greater than zero, a manager must approve. You can build a transaction approval flow based on how your team works. For example, for a basic setup, set any admin to approve all transactions. This really works well for small teams. Just make sure that you delete the approve expense step so the users get notified to review transactions. You can also add a manager as a reviewer. If no manager is assigned, then they are approved by admins. You can also have a multi-step approval where you add an admin approval after the manager approval. You can also set rules like, if an amount is greater than 75, then it requires approvals. Reimbursements work in the exact same way. Many users change the approvers here to be admins. So just like expense policies, you can create multiple approval flows for different departments, different spend levels, and different card types. Once your default approval policy is set up, after a user makes a card transaction, it goes into the accounting tab when it clears after about two or three days. Finally, the admin or bookkeeper reviews it, codes it, then syncs it or exports it to the ERP. Set up an approval flow to fit your team.